guys naturally marked here today is going to be another hot topic pre poo discussion and if you guys are interested in this video then just keep watching so what i have in my little jar today a cup of main and tail conditioner a cup of olive oil and i put like two tablespoons emu oil in there a m l a i leave everything down in the description box that i am using the indian oil is green so that's what i have in my little mixture today i think i put a little bit too much olive oil but the last time i did this pre poo i actually played myself because I didn't put I didn't have enough you know condition and I'm already dripping wet I already previously rinsed out my hair I don't have to sit here with a spray bottle and these are my twists that I had in my hair from the last previous week my little dumb clips that I hate okay you guys so I got these little clips that I don't like and I'm gonna just section my hair because I think I got like four in the back one two three so three in the back one two three four five how did that happen anyways guys let's get right into this topic really quick black women can't grow long hair like i don't even understand why this is still a topic really because there are so many videos out here showing that black women can grow long hair i'm just kind of like when i went natural i was more like i was more or less like you know everybody's gonna believe that i have long hair you know when you first go natural is not for good reasons like you go natural because you want long hair like we're gonna just be 100% honest you're not thinking about healthy hair you're not thinking about wanting hair for the right reason you're wanting long hair because you want long hair you want to be able to wing your hair you know flaunt your hair and have it flow like the girls you see in the commercial and it's just it's seriously that's the reason most of us go natural because we want long hair you're not thinking about it being healthy but now once you get your hair healthy and it actually gets long and you see the difference between when your hair was unhealthy and you see when your hair is healthy then it's all about the health of your hair you want long hair and i really thought like oh wow you know once once i went natural and i got a certain amount of hair on my head i thought the question would stop black women can't grow long hair or is this your hair is is that your hair is that your real hair it's like i seriously thought that question was gonna stop and it's and it hasn't and i'm just kind of like when i tell people that my hair is real i'm still confused as to why they look at me as if i'm lying then the question is no not the question then the comment is oh you got that good hair or oh what you mix with that's the next thing that follows oh what you mix with and it just kind of makes me feel like well why do i have to be mixed with anything to have long hair like black women can't grow long hair it is is really crazy that i still get that oh you must be mixed with something and i have to be honest i have to be really honest it's mainly from my black my black community that says this crap is like oh you must be mixed with something it's like i'm not mixed with anything first off everybody's mixed with something especially if you're a black american let's just get that out the way because all black americans we don't even know where we come from from africa or what part of africa or anything like that like we're just gonna be a hundred percent real about that like all black people that's a loud truck you can't sit up here and say that you're not mixed with anything it just depends on what or how much in it you have but all black americans are mixed with something down the way i'm just more of like i'm not i don't want to necessarily say i'm offended but it's irritating when i tell people that my hair is natural i'm not mixed with nothing i still get the yeah right well if you ain't mixed with something you just got good hair and it's like but what is good hair good hair i take care of it good hair i'm not some mixed chick mixed mean black and white like i'm not mixed so what is what is good hair like I am posing this question to you guys like what is that and why do people still feel like black women can't grow long hair like is it they don't think black women can be pretty they don't think black women can be blessed with a lot of hair black women wasn't able didn't know how to really take care of our hair so I mean that's why our hair has always looked a certain way or a particular way but I'm just still curious and confused as to why I have to prove that my hair is my hair and then you get the people that that just don't have no boundaries and just want to run your, their hand straight up through your scalp like get up in there and like just have no no type of sympathy not sympathy is like you just ain't got no dang boundary like why the freak would you put your hands through somebody's hair and honestly guys that's one reason why i don't straighten my hair and wear my hair down a lot because i just don't want to deal with the dumb crap that comes with i straighten my hair like people wondering if it's a weed 
weave or a wig asking if they can touch my hair and it's like no bro you cannot touch my hair i don't know where your hands has been i don't know if you just went to the bathroom and you didn't wash your hands you don't wiped your freaking entire butt crack in your crevices and even, even probably done digged up your nose and now you want to touch my hair no you cannot and then they want to look at you like mm, because i knew it was a weave anyway no can i freaking just run my hands up through your hair for no reason just to prove that my hair is my hair it's like no i can't you wouldn't like that like hey yes this is my hair and because you don't believe i don't believe you now i want you to prove to me that it is what you say that it is that's basically what we're getting at here it's like now i have to prove to you that my hair is what it is and i just don't feel like that's right anymore like can i can i please be rude well can i please just have a day of where i just wear my hair down and somebody asked me oh my gosh your hair is so pretty first off first off why are you even asking me if my hair is real if it's real or not real why is that any of your business sir i'm confused why is that why is that any of your business it's like me asking you oh my god you're out of shape you must not go to the gym huh <laughs> I don't even know like I can't even give a good a good a good enough answer like for that like I really I don't even know what to, to compare that to because it's like that is so rude like it's like going off into somebody's house and be like oh my god your house is so big how much you pay for it why what like I'm not fist to tell you how much I pay for my house like like why is that even a question like how come you just can't say why can't you just say oh my gosh your house is so beautiful this is a nice house like it's always got to be followed with something and i feel like a lot of black people always have something positive to say but then it's followed with a negative it's like it just can't be a positive situation it's always got to follow up with something negative and it's like if you like my nails just say oh my god i like your nails or if you like my hair just say hey your hair is really pretty thank you so much like why do i have to prove to you that my hair is real why do i have to prove to you that i'm not mixed with something to have nice long healthy hair like it's 2020 now i don't understand how come i still have to have this discussion and also i don't see why i still have to explain explain myself to man particularly it's like it, it don't make sense to me as black people we like pick each other apart to where we can't even just appreciate a compliment and sometimes we like seriously i'm not even i'm gonna just be a hundred percent it's like we pick at each other so much when somebody do give us a genuine compliment on something oh man my hair is this is old like my wash and go my braids is like two weeks old three weeks old like you know it's a little frizz right here it's like we can't take just a compliment i feel like black people and women do that but it's like it's always followed with something negative it's like how come we just can't take a straight compliment and i feel like it's because yes i'm gonna answer myself i feel like it's because we've been trained so much to like not actually just take a compliment from people because we always have something negative that's followed by it. like oh my gosh girl your hair is so cute how much you pay for it this lump this lady and i get it a lot I get it a lot when I wear my hair straight from black men and I get it a lot when I put my mini braids in from black women. It's like, uh, your braids are so cute. How much you pay for them? Where'd you get the hair from? Your braids look, how'd you get them so small? Like what kind of weave did you use? And it's like, okay, I understand that it's like, it's probably a genuine question. And it's like, oh, well, you know, I, it, I grew it out of my head. It's no, there's no weave. That is not your hair. No, seriously, it is, it's my hair. I braided it myself. You did not braid that yourself. There is no way yeah it is um here's my youtube channel this is this is exactly why i started making youtube is because a lot of people don't believe that one is my hair two um i did it myself but yeah here you go it's like it's my it's my hair but just the sheer disbelief of it all is like it's crazy and i understand i get it it's just because for so long black women had very brittle not healthy looking hair but i mean if somebody tells you something like oh yeah it's my hair I ain't got no reason to lie it's like don't follow it up with a oh my god you're mixed or you must be mixed with something or you got that good hair
But I'm making this video just to say you think because you got natural hair or because your hair is long now that you're gonna get these, you're gonna stop getting these questions or stop getting these comments. You know, that's one thing that I thought that I was gonna stop. I didn't stop getting the question. You know, going into your hair journey, things that people don't necessarily tell you, which that is a whole nother topic in its own. Don't go into your hair journey thinking that people are gonna either praise you, be like, like 100% on board with what you're doing because once you start trying something different or trying something new or else you get like a different result of what people don't think that you should like you should get people are always gonna have something to say or they're always kind of underlying be hating and that's why when you're going through stuff even like a hair journey but I'm not even just talking about hair just in life be happy about your growth got and like you got to be happy for yourself and also not tell people when you're going through things because not everybody's gonna be happy and then just hearing like slick comments I wouldn't say the comments that I've had has been necessarily negative but they've just been slick comments going through my hair journey pretty much with only my husband so It's just baffling to me just how people still think that black women cannot grow their own natural hair and it can't be long without me being mixed. So please let me know down in the comment section if you're natural and if you've been natural for a long time and you have either really nice, nice healthy hair and your hair is long. And if you get these questions, like let me know if you get the question as if, if you get the question, is that your hair or can I touch your hair if it's straight or if you, if you get that question like leave comments down below if you get the you must be mixed if you are let me know down in the comment section if you get the question oh you must be mixed or if you get the question can I touch your hair or people just straight kind of nice but slash rude to you and let me know how you handle the comments if you have long natural thick hair if you just get these kind of comments that kind of throws you every now and then let me know how you guys deal with it and let me hear some of you guys' advice and tips and this can also help other women out there in the community my tip is really i just still try to be nice to the people but educate them and letting them know like i don't have to be mixed to have nice long hair i just took care of my hair and here's the proof but most sometimes you know i'm human i don't feel like trying to prove to you that my hair is real or what have you and especially if it's like family that says something slick then it's like pretty much you just say something slick back more helpful like let's just leave comments down below in the community to try to help and empower us black women like just having the confidence you know thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna just leave my pre-poo in my hair for about like 30 minutes and as you see i already got my dryer on and this is gonna wrap up this video so thank you guys so much for watching Bye.